there are roughly 20 million people worldwide who have type 1 diabetes and individuals with type 1 diabetes don't produce the insulin they need to process their blood sugar at meal times and so they typically have to inject themselves or uh, take insulin by infusion from a pump in order to process the sugar uh, in the meals that they're eating. Now the issue with all of the current drugs that we have is that they're just too slow. Current insulin drugs, once they're administered, take about 20 minutes before they even start working uh, and they reach peak action in maybe 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, but then they have this long tail of action that often extends out to three to four hours. This slow insulin absorption arises due to insulin association states. In the vial, commercial formulations are primarily made up of insulin hexamers, which are stable and allow for prolonged storage life. These hexamers can dissociate and are at equilibrium with a small number of insulin dimers and insulin monomers, where the monomer is the active form of insulin in the body. After injection of current formulations, the active insulin monomers are initially absorbed for early insulin action, while the dissociation of insulin hexamers results in a depot effect and extended duration of action. In contrast, a completely monomeric formulation would have a very rapid absorption, and without hexamers, it would have a shorter duration of action. However, monomeric insulin is highly unstable under long-term storage conditions, and so it hasn't yet been possible to formulate a monomeric insulin for clinical use. The goal of this project was to stabilize a monomeric insulin which could be used in an ultra-fast insulin formulation. We had an idea of the type of chemical that we wanted to use, but the design space was too big to explore by hand. Instead, we traveled to Australia to work with collaborators, using a robot to generate hundreds of potential candidates. After narrowing down the library, we found a hit. We were able to stabilize monomeric insulin for the first time, creating a formulation which was more stable than current fast-acting formulations. I'd already been working on a monomeric insulin formulation for a while when Joseph and I found our polymer hit. Just a few weeks later, we were putting it into diabetic pigs, which is the most translational model for diabetes formulations. We were so excited when we started analyzing the data and we saw that our formulation was two times faster than current commercial formulations. While current for co commercial formulations have a delayed absorption after injection, our formulation reached 90% of its peak exposure just at our first time point. So we're really excited about the implications of this work because the pig studies were just so promising. More recently, we've done modeling of this uh, results that we saw in pigs to try to predict how these insulin drugs might perform in humans. And these modeling efforts suggest that our new insulin drugs might be upwards of four times faster than current fast-acting insulin analogs. Uh, and if this turns out to be true in humans, this could be a real game changer for diabetes management. 